Now, India wants to be more than just a consumer of chips. It wants to be part of the global semiconductor value chain. That is the focus of Semicon India 2025, where policymakers, global majors, and local startups are all under one roof. Now, one of the companies drawing attention this year is LAM Research, a US-based leader in chip-making equipment. CNBC TV 18's Ashwarya Anand reports from the exhibition floor. At Semicon India 2025, the country's annual showcase of its semiconductor ambitions. Among the global majors present is LAM Research, a US based company whose wafer fabrication equipment is used by chip makers worldwide. From etching nanoscale patterns to enabling deposition processes, LAM tools are at the core of making the world's most advanced semiconductors possible. But what role does India play in this story and how is LAM engaging with the country's growing semiconductor ecosystem? That's what we are here to find out from Rangesh Raghavan, India Head of LAM Research. Rangesh, the first question that I want to understand from you is that, uh, you know, help me understand, uh, take us through a little bit about LAM's India operations. What are some of the core functions that you're running here and how do those connect with your global operations? So LAM India pretty much does every function in the company. We started as an engineering services organization for software, hardware engineering over time. Uh, today we represent every function in the company uh, is represented in India. So for example, we have an organization that works on logistics, shipping our equipment around the world. So we have a team in India that helps our global team with that. We have an organization that does procurement globally uh, and we have a team in India that works on that. Uh, we even have an organization that builds manufacturing fixtures, et cetera. We have a team in India that does that. So most people think of a technology company as hardcore engineering and you know software engineering and hardware engineering. We do a lot more than that. Yeah. Uh, so uh, very happy to say that in India, we cover pretty much the whole gamut of the company's operations in some okay. way or the other. Okay, so that brings me to the next question and which is uh, India is right now uh, positioning itself as a global semiconductor hub. Yeah. So tell me, how does LAM's India operations fit into that bigger vision that we sure, have? Sure, sure. So if we want to make these fabs that are being announced successful, mm -hmm. we need to develop this ecosystem, Correct. right? So a fab can't exist on its own. It needs people to supply things to them, high pit purity gases, components, materials, equipment, and, and the like. And they also need partners who can help train their engineers in a Correct. particular way to operate the equipment and uh, they need partners who can supply and maintain and service that equipment. Correct. So if we already have a footprint in the country, the India operations we have, give us a great springboard to when Tata, for example, our next door neighbor, when they complete construction of their factory, we'll be able to support them very well because we're right here and we're able to do that. So in terms of our contribution, it's basically to broaden the ecosystem and the breadth of that ecosystem really helps develop the whole uh, industry, actually. Okay. Uh, so, also help me understand that uh, when we talk about India's design and engineering talent, yeah. what role does that play in your operations? Well, India has a large talent pool, as we all talk about. Um, I think we graduate around two million engineers a year. Uh, huge number of people. Correct. So, that's a lot of raw talent. What we do at LAM is we hire those people and we train them in our specific domain. So once we've trained these people in our domain, they become the experts that we rely on. So for, we've been doing this for 25 years mm -hmm. in India. We find that the design engineering talent is outstanding. In many cases, our engineers have very quickly caught up to and outperformed uh, some of our operations globally in terms of how they deliver. Uh, so we've been very pleased with our progress in this regard. So that was all about LAM's India footprint, but the real action here at Semicon is happening on the ground where LAM is showcasing some of its advanced tools, which is helping it make some really advanced chip makers. What these tools are, let's go and find out. The I do want to understand from you that what are some of the key technologies that you're showcasing here at Semicon India 2025? Well, 
some of the most important technologies to manufacture semiconductors is what mm. we do as a company. Okay. So we want to showcase what that exact thing. So over here is a small representation, it's a simplified representation of what happens to a wafer and how chips are manufactured. Okay. We start with a blanket wafer, it doesn't look like that, it looks like a big disc, but mm -hmm. this is a sample. It comes through to one of the LAMP tools where we deposit a film. These films are often of a thickness of, say, a hundredth of a human hair, or something like that, so extremely nanoscale. Um, and then we bring it to, we need to create a pattern. So to create this pattern of a circuit, you need to use a technology very akin to stencils. So you have a mask and you, we want to remove the uh, etch in the parts where you don't want things, so you cover the other parts with the mask. So that's what we do here. We deposit a photoresist material using an Aether system from LAM, uh, and other companies uh, project the mask that they need, which is the stencil, and then we come back to a LAM tool um, and we remove the materials as per the design. And once that's done, we come back to other LAM tools and clean up uh, any debris or residue, for example, removing these unwanted layers. Uh, and then we come back to LAMP tools and deposit new films again, and now we've formed one layer. Like this, there are 400 or 500 uh, repeats with different designs uh, throughout the process. It can take 30 to 90 days to complete. So that happens in a sort of a repeated cycle, and okay. we are engaged in many of the most important steps. So okay. that's what Could we you do. give me a use case of this? Well. These chips go into everything we know. Okay. We have lights there, they're running on LEDs, they're made with similar technology. Okay. We have our cell phones, uh, they use microprocessors, they use uh, clock processors, they use uh, audio uh, control processors, they use microphones. All of them are made with a uh, process similar to what this is done. So okay. the use cases are many and diverse. Could you give us some use case of this technology? Sure. Almost all chips are made using a similar process. Okay. And if you think about the use cases of chips, they go into everything from you know, cars where we control automatic brakes to your cell phones where you need a microprocessor to process the videos that come in that you want to watch to your um, you know, refrigerator these days that turns the light on and off, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So the use of chips is widespread and it's only growing. Okay. Um, and we look at the explosion of AI as one of the largest now new use cases because Amazing. every AI uh, question you have, so every time you open up ChatGPT and you say, you know, you want to ask ChatGPT something, that yeah. goes through a chip on your phone, it gets out through another chip as an RF chip that goes to the network, then the network has many chips that process that information and send it yeah. to the yeah. processor, so the whole thing is all made with chips. So okay. the use cases are so many. All right. So this is one tool that we have seen. What else do you have on the showcase here? Well, what we're doing is we're kind of showcasing what our tools look like so people get a feel for it. So here okay. is an example of a system that we produce commercially, that we sell. Uh, basically, wafers, those wafers that we talked about, they come over here, they get loaded onto this system, they get distributed into this tools where it's kind of like a pressure cooker, you can say, right? There's a, we control, we put in gases, we put in various things uh, into those chambers, and then we make the magic sauce of the films that happen or the removal happen. So it's a complex thing. It's hard to explain very easily. <laughs> so what we try to do is to explain that by you know, showing you what a real life tool would look like. So one okay. of these little guys here that you see, okay. one of these little guys, we've brought an example of that. And so this is what a real wafer looks like. It's, inside oh, here, nice. uh, so that's what uh, chips are made on, and so we've opened up this chamber to kind of show you what happens, uh, and then we put in gases, chemicals, heat that thing up, we put in a plasma, and I'll show you in a little bit what a plasma is, uh, okay. and then that's how we, we do our secret sauce. So it requires a lot of components, a lot of things to make all this work, so it's a very complex engineering marvel uh, the, what we do in the industry and at LAM. You know, Rangesh, my final question to you is that how are these tools enabling next-gen technologies, say for example, AI, 5G, how does it work? Well, the next-gen of technologies need these chips to be faster, they need these chips to consume less energy, they need these chips to be cheaper, right? Okay. That's what we do in the industry, we call it Moore's Law. So every two years, we produce chips that are twice as fast, uh, half as expensive and perform twice as well as the previous generation. 
that's the kind of pace of research and development that is needed in the industry. So that's what we do here at LAMP. We need to keep innovating, we need to keep moving that bar so that our customers can get the benefit and apply these technologies to advance the state of AI or 5G, all these networks. Okay, all right. Thank you so much for speaking to us. It's been lovely interacting with you. Thank you so much, Ashwarya. It was a real pleasure hosting you. From research and design to showcasing next-gen tools, LAM Research is betting big on India's semiconductor journey. And here at Semicon India 2025, the message is clear. Fabs alone won't define India's trip story. It's the tools, technologies, and talent that enable them, which will determine whether India can truly become a global semiconductor powerhouse. In New Delhi, Ishwari Anand for CNBC TV 18.